Firstly, even a one hour review also will be unable to justify the book The Boy in the Stripped Pyjamas. But I will try my best. John said, and in the end, we were all just humans, drunk on the idea that power, only power, could heal our brokenness. Hail Hitler! The most quoted salutations in the 1930s is not only a clear picture of the T then Germany, but also a clear mentality of its people then. The death in concentration camp, the mass shootout of Jews on the streets, were just everyday commonplace in Germany then. Today, we read a lot of heroic escapes from the concentration camps and regard those heroes, but there were numerous other likely heroes who were suffocated to death in the Gestapo's. In those days, the sun rose in Germany with the killing of liberty and fraternity and set with the murder of humanity. And a small incident from the bulk murder of humanity is the story of the boy in the stripped pyjamas by John Byrne. Bruno, the eight-year-old son of the commandant at a concentration camp during World War II, meets the son of a Jew across the fence. Shimuel, the Jewish boy and Bruno, develops a friendship. We see the story through the eyes of Bruno, his topsy-turvy world of being the son of a commandant, his relationships with his father, mother and elder sister Gretel, his unexpressible love for the Jewish servants in his house like Pavel and Mary, and hate for the filthy lieutenant Crotel and other soldiers. We leave the story through the eyes of the eight-year-old son of a Nazi commandant as he develops an unknown love for a Jewish boy Shemuel, we too experience their friendship. Bruno said, I like your name. It's like the wind blowing. Shimmel replied, Me too. Your name is like rubbing hands together. This is the innocence we experience in the story. We feel angry at Bruno when the little boy fails to save his friend and then comes the tragic part. As I was approaching the end, I felt the ending. But I prayed, Please, Bruno must come back safe. But then I realized Shemuel too is equal in all sense to Bruno. John Bowen expresses the tragic clailing of Jewish childs through the story of an eight-year-old child, Bruno. The ending hits the reader the most. With all the Jews lined into the gas chamber, Bruno feels he can't remember the name of any of his old friends. Despite the mayhem that found that he was still holding Samuel's hand in his own and nothing in the world would have persuaded him to let go, he looked down and took hold of Samuel's tiny hand in his and squeezed it tightly. You are my best friend, Samuel, Bruno said. My best friend for life. This was such a wonderful story that one could feel its essence, whether big or small. The symbolism of the stripped pyjamas as identity and fence as the separation used by John are worth mentioning in this invaluable story. In Bengali, there is a line, Onnai je kore ar onnai je sohe, tobo grina jano tare trino samudrahe. One who commits a crime and one who doesn't protest against it must be punishable equally. So the one question that the boy in stripped pyjamas leaves us with is, are all the Shemels and Bruno safe in the world we are living now? Thank you.